right. <coughs> All right. Good day. Morning. How do you start this? Morning. Okay, let's do this. Good day, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Imagination Tech. You can also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash imagination tech. Um, so what is Imagination Tech? Basically, we will be discussing uh, everything about uh, drones, possibly in the future. Maybe we can touch on some fixed-wing aircraft and other remote control uh, toys and devices as well. Uh, so first, what exactly are drones? So drones are um, are a common term for you know for remote control flying objects, and uh, we usually uh, nowadays we usually ret refer to it for the you know the quadcopters that you normally see the, the like the DJI Phantom and the SEMA. The the term drone actually refers to anything that is that can be remotely controlled or autonomously controlled. So uh, and then the term quadcopter is actually uh, actually a better, more uh, descriptive term. But uh, however, I do prefer the word multirotor because um, there's not it's not just quadcopters now. We have tricopters, we have hexacopters, you have octocopters. So it really the, the quadcopter stands. You know, it, it means four propellers or four rotors. So it really depends on what kind of. Um, what kind of uh, multi-rotor you have so if you are interested in getting into this hobby it's great fun it's uh, great to fly and um, you don't need a pilot's license to do it and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's really really fun so how do you get started well uh, first of all my name is Jeff and uh, I, get, I got started with uh, flying drones uh, with a friend's SEMA X5, I believe. So, um, you know, he brought it one day and uh, we tried flying it around. And then that was my first experience. So if you want to get into drones uh, or if, you, if you're not really sure about it yet, um, you know, you can always find a friend who does have a drone take it around for a spin my recommendation don't go with the with the big DJI Phantom drones yet or the Mavic you know I know it's very very popular right now but go with the simple Chinese Chinese toy uh, drones um, they don't have uh, much uh, in the way of stabilization they're, they're a much more manual and uh, you know you can really get a feel for how it is to fly a drone now after my first uh, after that uh, borrowing my friend's drone um, that same friend actually gave me my own drone. It, it's this, uh, it's this small one. It's a nano nano quadcopter made by uh, Cheerson. It's a Cheerson CX10A, I believe. So it's no longer working now after several, um, you know, several months of uh, crashing this thing all around the house. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't work anymore. Now, uh, I do have uh, a couple, of, couple of more drones these days. I have a. Uh, Phantom DJ, DJI Phantom 3 Advanced, uh, which is great for as an aerial photography platform, and I also have um, a tricopter from uh, that I got from RC Explorer over in Sweden. Uh, now that's great. It's a, it's a, it's considered as a, a medium-sized racing drone. It's very very fast, uh, and I'm gonna show you that in a bit. So this is my Phantom 3 Advanced. Um, not gonna go into the specifics of what it does or what what its specs are because I'm sure you can find it all over the internet. Uh, this uh, this is a this is a reliable drone for aerial photography. I use it for um, you know I use it for aerial cinematography of landscapes and even you know even uh, dance performances. Some some people have hired me to cover their um, Christmas party presentations as well for schools, you know, or for general um, architectural aerial uh, surveys. So I have two batteries, each battery lasts, lasts around 10 to 15 minutes of flight time, after which uh, I charge it uh, in the car through my cigarette uh, cigarette lighter, uh, cigarette charger, or what you call, whatever you call it. And then, yeah, it's, it's good for aerial photography, but it does not, it, it, it it's the, the speed is a far cry from what the tricopter can do or what many of the mini racing quads can do so if you're looking for an aerial photography platform platform this is a great uh, this is a great um, quad to start with but if you're looking for performance you're better off building your own quad or tricopter so aside from the DJI Phantom 3 Advance that I have uh, this is the mini tricopter from RC Explorer
this is the first multi rotor I built and uh, from um, as you can guess from its name it has three uh, three motors three rotors and at, at the moment this is uh, back at the workshop because I hit a tree at very high speeds speaking of high, uh, I broke a carbon fiber arm and speaking of high speeds this can run circles around a phantom so again um, what you have to consider when uh, choosing your first drone is what you're going to be using it for. If you need for, if you need to build for speed, or do you want to build an aerial photography platform, which definitely will not be as fast or as nimble as any of the racing quads out there. So I rammed this into a tree. Uh, the carbon fiber broke, and I'm um, I'm I think uh, I think the carbon fiber replacement arms that I ordered back from from Sweden just arrived um, today so I'm gonna go to the post office here's a pop, uh, some some wood from the tree that I rammed into so some specs of about the mini tricopter this is Mitch by the way uh, it is equipped with an F3 FC board and an integrated power distribution board or PDB and uh, it ha at the front you can mount your board cam your for FPV flying uh, it has a cool canopy so um, you know it ups the cool factor and looks like like a military grade uh, aircraft uh, the standard specs recommend uh, 3 Emax 23kV 2300kV RS2205 red bottom motors and um, so far so good they're very the, the this uh, this tricopter is very fast very fluid Flies through the, it swims it swims through the air and uh, the motors are more than capable of handling it. Um, for ESCs, I'm using the favorite little beast 30 amp ESCs, and uh, use a 3s or 4s. 4s would be better. 4s um, battery for this 4s lipo. Now, as you can see on this tricopter right now, it's uh, uh, I have some 50 40 by three props uh, attached to it and they're really fine uh, they provide adequate thrust and, and uh, very smooth uh, flight but uh, the tricopter was initially designed with these 6045 props in mind now 60 the 60 uh, stands for six inch props and uh, at a 45 degree angle I'm not sure if it's focusing right I don't think so all right uh, anyway, this is a 6045 prop attached as a 40, 50, 40 by 3, 5 by 4 by 3 prop. Now, I also tr uh, tested out this 5 by 4 uh, prop, and uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit, um, does not provide enough thrust uh, for these, uh, for the mini tricopter because of its size and weight. So, it's, a, it's the same size, only it has, uh, it has just uh, two props on it. Two blades on it, I mean. All right, so it's not focusing. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, what I might want to try next is these um, aggressive. I think these are 50-50, 50 props. So these so should provide a really. Oh, let's just open that up. It's a it's a unique design. Uh, it's, it has three blades as well, but it has a very aggressive blade profile. So I'm sure it's gonna provide tons of thrust. So there. So if if you uh, if you're getting a tricopter or want to get a kit, um, hit us up in the comments or send us a message, and uh, where we uh, we plan to put the mini tricopter in our store, so that you don't have to buy your mini tricopter kit all the way from Norway or Sweden. The notice came in the mail yesterday that I had a package with the, at the Philippine post office. And sure enough, it's, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, it's from RC Explorer in Sweden. And, uh, can't wait, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure I, I know what, what, uh, what's inside of this. How do you open this thing? So as expected, it's a new carbon fiber arms and uh, a set of replacement screws that I ordered. Oops, sorry. It's pretty nice. So that is going. There you go. That 
this one, this is going to replace this one. Right. So now that you've decided on what kind of drone that you want to get for your first drone, uh, the next thing you have to do before even building it, before even you know doing anything, before even purchasing it, is to start accepting that you are gonna crash your drone. Doesn't matter if it's a DJI Phantom or if it's a self-built racing quad, you're gonna crash it, and. Uh, that's that's just the way it is. Uh, you can you could you could say as I could as as I had said that I'm just gonna be careful. I'm gonna start slow. I'm not gonna crash it. And then you know as as I slowly uh, pick up some skills, I'm gonna be so fast. I'm gonna run circles around you. That's not gonna happen. You are gonna crash. And the sooner you accept it, the faster you're gonna learn how to fly. All right. So. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of uh, some a compilation of some of the crashes I've had with the uh, with the tricopter. Unfortunately, the last and the final you know smashing into the tree video didn't uh, wasn't on film. I, w I wasn't recording that one. So, but you know, check this out. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like this uh, this video, do uh, click on the like and share uh, share it to your friends. And uh, in, the, in the next few videos we will be making, um, we'll probably throw in some reviews of new um, products in the market, or you know my adventures or, or misadventures with the tricopter as well. So uh, I never claimed to be very good at drone flying. You know the DJI Phantom platform is already it's a very intelligent platform. It all it practically does the flying for you. But uh, I suck with the uh, with the uh, you know the acro mode of the tricopter. So you know, I'm hoping that with this channel we can both we can all um, get better at, at flying, learn new tips and tricks. Um, from each other and if you do have comments and suggestions please do hit the comments below right thank you for watching please do subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time